everyone, I hope you guys have been doing well. I've been doing my best to keep myself entertained. Takoyaki, tonkas, suyukaba, sotak sotak, chijibutak, tapoki. Eric and I ordered from a friend's restaurant called Shikek, located in Woodside, and he ended up spoiling us with so much extra food, and it was so good. I was editing at the desk, and Henry kept on hinting that it was time for dinner. He decided to do a stakeout in front of the kitchen, and I guess the desk chair was the best spot. After dinner, we decided to have a little cuddle time in the bed. I've been eyeing the Zara Emotions collection, collaborated with Joe Malone for some time now. I got a chance to smell some of the fragrances in the line and decided to pick up a perfume and a candle. I got the scent Water Lily Tea Dress and it smells so amazing. I love that each scent comes with a description that Joe Malone wrote and this one is a mellow jazz melody floats in the background, a picnic on the lawn, the soft breeze caresses a vintage dress. This scent has notes of fer de bergamot, mint, and musk. I'll be honest, I'm not very good at describing smells, so I asked Eric to describe it and he said that it smells like clouds, fresh cotton, and a light floral scent. I love how minimal the packaging is, and although the candle was shown online as a typical candle in a glass container, the one I got ended up being a pillar candle and I'm not completely mad about it. I would definitely repurchase this perfume and the candle and would recommend you to look into the collection since I'm not completely sure if it's limited edition. When my friend Jia came over last time, we decided to be a little bit experimental and use a lavender syrup and it ended up tasting really good. I used an espresso chiaro capsule and the Monin lavender syrup with almond milk. It gives a really nice floral splash and I'm definitely planning on trying out other unexpected combinations with the syrups that I have. Also, this is a rare occasion of sunlight in the apartment. I've been wanting to make the three ingredient creme brulee for a while, so I finally decided to take a stab at it. I didn't have a blowtorch, so people have been recommending to melt the sugar on the stove and pour it on top. Despite looking really good and sounding really good, it was actually a fail because the sugar was too thick and the heat from it messed with the chilled custard. But lesson learned, I'm gonna just invest in a blowtorch. That was a good hit. Do you see that? Oh, I made it too thick, the sugar. Water got spilled onto my nightstand and it ended up getting all over one of my books. Thankfully, I had the Dyson Airwrap to help me dry off the pages and even gave me a chance to read some of the book. Karma Sutra, does it suit you? Your velvet dress is slipping on. Would you stay with me? It's coming through ya, never knew ya, never knew how much it means when you spoke to me. Happy birthday <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to, to you. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Opa. Happy birthday to you. Small picket fences meet your parents. Cast your shoes off in the 
Henry and I were having a moment while touching toes, and then he pulled away. Eric called me over while we were playing backyard, and Henry was just hanging off his chair like it was nothing. I thought it'd be nice to have a spa day, so I lit some tea light candles to make a nice vibe in the bathroom. I've been wanting to try Lush bath bombs for the longest time. This one is the intergalactic bath bomb and it has glitter in it. I love how colorful it is and it just makes the bathtub look so pretty. Look at all the pastel foam and the glittery water. I actually went back home to Connecticut towards the end of the week. It was really nice spending time with my parents and it snowed so I got to hear those beautiful crunches from stepping in the snow. I love that my house gets so much natural light. My mom has been raving about burrata cheese and her new go-to snack. The pesto, grilled tomato, and mozzarella cheese has been the typical toast in our house for years now. My mom decided to switch things up and use the burrata cheese instead of mozzarella. She takes a lot of pride in finding the best olive oil and balsamic vinegar, so she'll do anything to put them on food. This tasted so good, I think I could eat it every single morning. After a day, all my footsteps turned into ice and it was literally 10 degrees outside and with the wind chill, it said that it would feel like negative 4 degrees. It's ice. I know, but there's nothing you can do. I know, all you see is Taco Bell. Gone. <laughs> we also got to see the full moon, although this shot isn't good since all you see is a big white circle next to a big Taco Bell sign. But it was really cool though. I of course finished my week off with lava cake. This one is from Trader Joe's. It tastes amazing. You just pop it in the microwave for 50 seconds and bam, this dark chocolatey goodness comes out. I hope you guys have a great week and eat some sweets. I will see you guys next time. Bye.